Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Coder. In this video, we are going to configure NUT with OpenWRT. So NUT stands for Network UP at Tune. And in this video, as you can see, I'm having the Atom 650 iUSB UPS right here. It is connected to my OpenWRT router. This is the Linksys WRT1900AC with the USB port. Currently, I'm monitoring the UPS state that has 192.168.2.1 and right here we can see that uh, the models and the status, the battery uh, percentage and also the power input. So if I turn up the AC power right here, alright, so the status will be changed to on battery and as you can see on my PC, we have a notification. This is the WinNut client, a GUI application to connect to the NUT server on my OpenWRT router. And we can see the warning that uh, it is down, so we can shut down immediately or we can put a race time. If I turn on the AC power, all right, so we can see that the warning on my PC no longer appear. And right here, if I refresh this page, the status is changed to online and it starts to charge. So we can see that with NUT server running on the OWRT router, we can use a lot of application or a lot of clients running on your PC, your window PC, your Ubuntu machines, and then you can shut down your device when the power is down, or there is no AC power, or when the battery or the runtime below a certain value. All right, so that's a short introduction about what NUT can do. Let's get started with the installation. So this is the main page for NUT or Network UPS Tones, and right here you can have a check on what this package or what this program can do so basically it's a program a nut server that runs on your devices for example your openwrt routers or one of your dynamic machine that connected to one or several ups's or power device so that you can monitor you can get the status of it and then you can share this information with all the nut client for example, right here, I have a WinNut client and it can communicate with the NUT server running on your machine, for example, the OpenWRT router and get the status of the power. So it can perform any action when we have something wrong with the powers or the runtime is below a certain value. First of all, you want to check the hardware compatibility list. So right here, we have a bunch of products, a bunch of UPS, devices and on your right side this is the driver that you need to use so the same on window we need to install the driver for the devices and on Linux we also need to install the driver so if you have a check right here this is the vendor provided protocol and hardware so these will have the highest support when using with NUT so after some time of searching for the device compatibilities and the rivals and the availabilities in my local country, I decided to go with the Atom 5E because this device is well supported by NUT. So if we filter down the manufacturer right here to Atom, alright, so we should be able to see this is the 5E and then we have the 6 i USB and on the right side we have the driver name you need to specify the correct driver so that the UPS device can communicate with the NUT server with uh, OpenWRTs or any other operating system alright so if you plan to buy a UPS or you want to check if your UPS is supported by NUT or not you can go and check out this one. So right here, there are no filters and you can run Control F and shut your products or your model right here. Or else you can go to the manufacturers and then browse your manufacturer. For example, we have APC and uh, this is the list of the APC device that is supported by NUT. Okay, so 
uh, this is all about the hardware compatibility list. First of all, you need to have a USB port on the UPS. And secondary, it should be supported by one of the driver. Right? So we done with the UPS tuned and led back to our OpenWRT tutorial page. So right here we have the package selections. We have the nut, nut command, nut server. So for this tutorial, in order to collect the data from the UPS, we will need the nut server. Alright, and in order to show the statistics or the detail of your UPS status on your Lucy web page or for example 192.168.1.1 select nut, you need to install this UPS web CGI. Alright. And okay, this is the command. So this is the UPS monitoring. So this one it consider the NUT client. So basically, we are using NUT client to check the status or the information from the NUT server. But in this video, we are not doing that. Finally, we have the NUT driver. So we need to install the NUT driver so that the UPS can communicate with the OpenWRT router. As I mentioned before, you can check out this hardware compatibility list to find your NUT driver. So let's begin with the installation. First of all, let's go to system software to update your packet database. Alright, so dismiss and then let's search for our first package, which will be NUT server. Alright, install the NUT server and hit install. So if you are coming from Open Tools or all the OS for NUT installation, for OpenWRT, we have a little bit different. You will need to configure all of your settings in etc slash config. The system will get the configuration info in this location and it will put in etc slash NUT. So you cannot directly modify etc slash NUT directory. So just pay attention to that. Alright, so NUT server and then let's see what else do we need. So we need the NUT server and then we will need the NUT web CGI. Okay, okay, so it will be the NUT web CGI. And now let's install arrival for the UPS. So the manufacturer is Atom. So let's go down. Okay, so this is Atom. And my devices is E5E650i right here. And this is the driver. So USB HID UPS. Alright. So let's search for the driver. So it will be NUT driver. And then dash. All right, so hit install. And then finally, in order to manage and configure NUT with Lucy, we will need to install this one, Lucy F NUT. All right, hit install. Okay, so everything has been successfully installed. So now we can perform a reboot of the router. But before we do that, let me establish the NH connection to the router. That's 192.168.2.1. So I have changed my LAN IP. Root, and this is my password. Right here, we run ls usb. This command will list all the USB devices. Then we see our Anton 5A device show up. Okay, just in case you want to connect, if your device probably connected to the router, you can run this LS USB. And in order to run this command, you need to run the OPKG install USB utilities. Okay, so that's it. Now let's reboot the router. So I will run the reboot command, or you can turn off the power and then turn it on all right it is off now so let's log back into lucy so log in and then 
in the service tab we have the new network UP tron all right so unable to dispatch sorry the object you requested were not found okay no pay registers in admin service nut okay so seem like something you wrong it looks like something wrong with the nut server so let's go ahead and check it software nut server yes it is installed so let's see what else do we miss out all right so i will remove the lucy app nut and try to reinstall it update the list and reinstall in so we're back online and let me try to log in again network event tone there's still an error message 404 not found so i'm not sure what wrong with the lucy app nut so let me do it with common line but i will do it step by step so that you can try and follow it sorry for that all right so this is putty let's open it and then connect to 192.168.2.1 so if you are using the default ip you need to specify .1.1 root and the password all right so let's have a check on the nut server configuration file so let me put it right here the nut configuration file is stored in etc config all right so if you ls the file you will see the nut cgis and the nut server so let you v editor to edit the file so we will type in v and then nut underscore server hit enter so by default you can see that with all the line are commented which means it is not activated so we are going to press the i key to switch to the insert or the editor mode and then remove the hash key make it a normal line so config driver so this right here we can specify our ups name so i will put it 650 usb and then on the option driver we have checks that for the Ayrton 5e the usb driver is usb hid dash ups so we don't need to change it option port auto yes and option enable usb zeros it will be zeros or we just ignore it because we are using a direct usb connection so right here you can specify the user that can be used to connect to the nut server to get the information so the username i will get it ups hunt which means ups monitor and the passwords i will put it maybe something like when tech corner just an example in your case i hope that you use a different one so list instant command option instant command for this one we can just leave it for now and the option ups mon uh, it is a master so i will delete the slave right so just in case you want to understand more about what is a master or slave configurations or other configuration for example standalone ups then you can go ahead and check on this network ups tools and we have a lot of documentation from here moving on we have the config listen address so right here the option address is colon colon one which means local hot if you want to manage your nut over the internet or over your land or something like that that you need to train it to 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 and then slash 0 so in this case i am accepting all the requests from all ip addresses option port it is 3439 all right so the rest we can just leave it as a we don't need to configure it
Okay, so we're done with the NAT server configuration. So now we can press the ESC key to switch back to the command or the viewing mode and then press the colon and then WQ to run and click. And you can see we are currently at etc slash configs and we have edited the NAT server. After that, UCI will get the config file. So the final configuration will be stored in here. Cat, it will be etc slash nut and then slash ups.cof. Okay, so as you can see, config file automatically generated from UCI config. Now we will continue to modify the nut web dashboard. So if I run ls, I will have the nut underscore cgi. So let's run v nut cgi. Hit enter and press the i key to switch to the insert mode. Delete the hash key option ups name. Right here, you need to specify the correct name that we have configured previously. And it is 650 ubs. I'm sorry, 650 usb. If you specify the wrong name, the system cannot find the UPS and it will not show the status on your web UI. Alright, so the option port, if we want to change the port, we can uncomment this one. But I will go with 35 configuration. And the last one is the option display name. I want to show it at a different name. So I will put it attend 5e and that's all. Upset option enable so that's it and i press the exc key to switch back to the command mode and then colon right click so basically we're done so now let's reboot the router and it should be up and running shortly with the status so now if we go to the download link we can download the nut client so let's search for client so we have not Java support client side and then we have the not client for VMware and if you go on google.com and search for winnet client okay you are going to this link where you can get the installation file on this release and you can install this application so winnet client all right let's open it Alright, so this is the Windows NUT client that we can use to connect to our NUT server running on the OpenWRT router. First of all, let's go to settings. And right here, this is the host 192.168.2.1. The NUT port, the default port is 3493. And we have yet to change it, so it is the default one. UPS name is the one that we have specified in etc slash config slash NUT server okay so 650 usb all right so the login ups month and the password event tag corner all right and hit apply and then okay mm -hmm. so right now let's click connection and reconnect um, the connection could not be made because the target machine Activity refill is 192.168.2.1. Okay, so there's something wrong with the connection and let's find out what was wrong. So right here, if I go to the Lucy page, it should show up. Yep, we have the page ready. Now we'll give it to server. So we have the UPS mod. This is the password vantage corner as master. UPS mod is the correct one setting ups mod yes it is and then the ip address 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, slash zeros and the port and this is the driver so everything looks great everything looks correct and on network you can tune 650 all right so host name or ip address we still leave it blank so let's try to go to the cgi go to statistic and log in with your OpenWRT router credential. Connection arrow, connection refuse. What is wrong? Array sick fighter USB at local hot. It say connection denies, connection refuse. 
So something is wrong with our configuration file. Okay, so let me go back to it and then let's go to service network you can turn and you can see after we modify the nut underscore server now we can configure it with lucy so let me go back to the guy right here and see what else if we do wrong so working assembles the party o2 the user the password and then the config listener threats oh okay option 0.0.0.0, .0. so we need to remove the slash zero at the end and hit save and apply again perfect now let's go to 182.168.2.1 slash nut statistics all right still fail okay that's not good so let's run serve it serve it and then not server restart all right let me run it and perfect after we change the ip address from 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 to this one we can now connect it to the ups devices and this is our network's uh, UPS turn page and right here we can see the status online, the battery percentage, the input VACs and the load and the runtime and we can click on here to see the charge. Alright, so I believe on Windows client we should be able to connect to it. So let's try connection, reconnect and perfect. And you can see we are now connected to the UPS or the NUT server on our OpenWRT routers and we can see all the statistics and right here on the settings you can configure the shutdown option so shutdown if battery lower than how many percentage and then tie up shutdown so delay to shutdowns and allow extended shutdown time okay so let's try so we can see that the UPS status immediately changed to UPS on battery and if we turn it back on if I turn on the AC power we can see that the UPS go back to UPS online immediately I think that there is a delay but it should be a very short delay so yeah so on the setting section you can do for the configuration to shut down your device when the AC power loss or shut down when the battery is lower than 30% or shut down if the runtime is lower than certain second you can configure your NUT client not only on your window but your open tool machine your VMware by downloading the file from here and you can also follow all the tutorial on the internet regarding the NUT client configuration we can see that with the NUT server running on the OpenWRT router, we can connect not only one, but two, three, and four devices to the USB port and monitor the status of it. And then we can install the NUT client on another machine that is not directly connected to the UPS. We can communicate with the NUT server on the OpenWRT routers and perform certain of actions when there's something wrong with the power. We can see that Nudge is a really good project that we can use in our home network or office network. With the cap setup, we can shut down our device in a proper way to avoid data loses. For example, if the power down, we will turn off the NAS devices and then still let our OpenWRT router running until the power is completely down or when the power resume. That's all. And I hope this will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.